What's going on guys? Welcome back. Thanks for checking out this video. Friday here in early June. Uh, we're really getting started with our college summer league. Uh, we've got a workout later today. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the updates that we've made here in the lab and then kind of kind of get into some of the workout. Opening day is on Monday for the league. You know this league is something that uh, is pretty unique for us so I just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of what's going on, uh, some of the coaches and uh, let's get to it. All right, uh, just finished up the workout getting the day started. Um, we've had a lot of updates in the pitching lab here at HQ this past month. The staff, all of us are really excited about it. Previously, we, you know, we already had like a TrackMan, Rapsodo, you know, the radar guns, LED boards. Some of the new things that we've got, you know, have kind of updated some of the things that we already had, but then also adding some more tools kind of to the tool bucket for assessment purposes. Um, you guys know we already had the motion capture lab. Uh, it's an eight camera system all the way around here. We also have like a mobile one that you guys probably see on the social medias and everything of us like taking to the schools and other facilities to do it for. That one kind of travels. We have a whole another separate one that stays in here the whole time. And the cameras are up mounted on the wall and they're all facing that green mound back there. So the first thing that we did here in May was we updated all of the hardware in here. So we got 16 new cameras, eight in here, eight that we travel with, everything that that comes with, a new capture computer, um, you know, new cabling, new everything, updated that whole system, make it better, make it cleaner, make the data better. Um, I think right now, you know, like some of the schools that are running this is like Wake and Rice and Arkansas and Stanford, you know, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're still the only private facility in America that has this particular system. There's other places that have other market systems, whatever, but the, but the places that you can go to do something like that definitely is few and far between in a, in a private manner. So we updated that whole lab. And then in the weight room, um, we had some new force plates go in there. Uh, weight room force plates, doing jumps, doing holds, uh, doing rack pulls, trying to get relative force numbers. And the reason those relative force numbers are so important for you guys is that you know that you know, you'd know you expect a five foot eight guy to be able to like run a little bit faster on a straight line than a six foot five guy. But the six foot five guy who just runs a little bit slower than that five foot eight guy from a power or a you know relative force number is actually much more impressive and that's why that guy probably throws a little bit harder. He can move a bigger frame faster. So we added that in there. And then one of the coolest things I'll take you guys down here and see is this new red mound looks just like a normal mound, um, but we just put this mound in and underneath that turf uh, actually has force plates underneath there too. So we can kind of track and measure the direction in a 2D uh, you know, manner of what your force is doing, but then also you know, how much force you're actually applying to the ground. So I wanna show you guys these real quick. This turf here just kind of pulls up, peels up, and underneath are these force plates. So there's two there. There's one back by the rubber and it's kind of measuring, like I said, 2D and 3D force. Um, so this kind of this kind of brings the lab like all the way together. You know, we've got we've got kind of the initial like physical assessment, looking at active and passive ranges of motion. Uh, you know, we've got the motion capture system already. We've got the ball, flight, ball tracking numbers, your spin rates, your movement profiles and everything. Now we've got how you're inter interacting with the ground along with how you, you know, move in the weight room, you know, with the relative, you know, force and power numbers, you know, that you're looking for in the weight room. So all of that too is, has been working on this past year, pulling all that into the same spot. And I kind of want to show you guys a little bit, you know, of what we're doing inside of our app. So once you sign up to become a member, you know, remote or in-house at P3, you get access to this. And this is also what our college partners, you know, get to, to kind of view and, and do their data. So, so this is a boost here. You can kind of log in on your desktop or a mobile device. Every single athlete that we have, this is some of my old data here. Uh, they get all of this. So all of the TrackMan and Repsoto data is pulled into here, you know, reported. 
Um, this is a really professional grade tool. I, I was fortunate enough to see you know, a handful of these different organizations and uh, that's kind of what the inspiration I guess is for us behind this of, uh, of how we're building this. You know? So you've got your standard reports. It's super interactive. You, know, you can click all this and see individual data. One of the cool things too is that it's all synced up with like your, your ball release. You know, so you can see the slow mo edutronic release to it. You know, but all the tools are getting synced into here. So the motion capture stuff's in here. The video from that day is all in here. You know, whether or not you know the the system you know thinks it's good or not is in there. So you can kind of help dissect it. And then all of the physical and weight room you know data is in there too. And all of that's kind of logged in in there. So every time you sign up as an athlete here at P3, you're getting one of those. It's a really cool tool to help kind of see and dissect some of that data. So a lot of updates going on in the lab here. We're all really excited about it. Like I said, we're welcoming a lot of our college summer league and training members, just summer training members in general, pretty good population of high school players too. Uh, in here right now. So uh, right now, Friday, Monday is opening day for the College Summer League. So uh, today, Friday, we have kind of a quick nine to 11 workout um, with all the position players. So we're gonna kind of pop over there, say what's up to them, work out with them a little bit and uh, kind of take you guys along for the ride for that too. So let's go do it. How you guys feeling? Good? Arms good after yesterday. Yeah. Anything? Any other needs you guys think you're going to need in this with this time as we continue on with the weeks? As far as ground balls, I think continuing to split it up, catchers outfield, that worked out really good. I think we can get out of here like in like an hour or whatever that is. Yesterday we ran like hour 45. I think on the infield side we can kind of probably be a little more efficient with reps probably cut those down just a little bit as the summer gets going on so you guys aren't in here doing like full workouts every day just come in and clean up and get out of here right so i really think we can get this time down to about an hour if you are sign up for the hitting stuff go ahead and come come to me for just one second here and then everyone else can kind of get going but i just want to grab the there's a few of you guys doing the the like hitting side too and just have a couple things to talk to you guys about and again needed to kind of get a feel for how um these first practices we're gonna go for kind of how to manage this and what we're gonna do with our time moving forward. So what we're gonna do is just hopefully, I think we can run it like nine to 10. I'll probably be out here with the infielders for a lot of that time just to pr provide some value with, with these guys. Once we hit like 10 o'clock, we'll run 10 to 11 and a group 11 to 12, right? Be able to move forward. As far as assessment, I was gonna do it today. Got some uh, potentially really cool opportunity for next week as far as um, getting you guys like fully assessed like all the data like um, like kind of world-class technology type stuff is that fine to go like do this stuff footwork no throw just really active feet what do you guys think we're gonna go we're gonna go full fungos and everything with throws so you want to do the first stuff no throw all right perfect he's gonna hit it pretty much right at you get that ground gain all right out to the outside of the ball right away. Try to feel everything off the left hip. So I say like gain your ground early, like those first steps, put a lot of energy in the ground, gain the ground, and then like, then you chop to get back on target, if that makes sense. So everything we're doing, we're trying to fight to get the ball on the left side, feel it off our left hip, moving back in the first bit. So work a little more around from the start there. Make it easy on you. Get there, you still have plenty of time. Yep. Really, in, in all of What's up, dude? Uh, Want me to toss those to you? Sure. How'd you hear about this league? Um, I was going to go play in Dallas, and mm -hmm. um, somebody's of mine that go to Ranger. Okay. They were like, hey, we're playing in this league. You want to join? I'm like, yeah. Nice. But, but. Sounds good. Well, I'll tell you that I and the guys have noticed how, how hard you work. So that's probably the one thing that everybody's looking for the most out of this league is just guys that want to work. So I'll feed you right here if you want. What do you want to do? You're um, just trying to move it around and... Yeah, I'm okay. just trying to work on getting my body in the right position. Okay. You know. Got a baby. Yeah. It's a big confidence booster too. 
it doesn't really matter, but I was a pitcher. It's a big confidence boost as a pitcher to watch your catcher try to make everything a strike, you know? Because you can always make it look better to me than probably what it actually was. You know what I mean? So I used to hate when catchers would have like a borderline pitch that I missed my execution on, but maybe it was only a ball or two outside and they just went and threw it back to me, you know? The guys that like kind of stuck that made me feel like it was close, you know? Like you're just trying to build momentum, man. Momentum's such a big thing in this game. And we were, you know, we were good. Good so. squad, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Good work. Yeah, you got about, you got about a half hour and then it start going over there, so. Like mentally dealing with adversity in baseball when it, you know, can feel like a freaking roller coaster of a game. You need that routine, you know, so. It de it, honestly, to be honest with you, like, I think it matters more that you have one rather than like how good it is, right? You should be trying to build a routine that helps like get you prepared and stuff. But, you know, I don't, I don't know what I would have done after bad games in college or professional baseball, like without a good routine, because you show up the next day and you just like feel lost. You're like, holy crap, I got to change something. And you've got to like fight that urge, you know, just stick to the routine, stick to the process, you know, so. Get you guys right. something dialed in. Have fun. Yeah, thanks, guys. Good to meet you guys.